Hey guys, my name is Jamie. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if this isn't your first time. If this is your first time, I love to do a lot of fashion related content, but also some lifestyle stuff there kind of in between. So I do a lot of clothing subscription unboxings, clothing hauls and try-ons. And I've actually recently uploaded a couple of videos from a recent trip to Florida. So I have a couple of road trip videos I've just uploaded. And then I will have a couple of Disney days in there in the next couple of weeks as well as I edit those. So if that sounds like something that you would enjoy, please consider hitting that subscribe button so you can see them as they come out. Today I have my Penny and Grace subscription to Unbag. So this one is always super exciting. Penny and Grace is a jewelry subscription. It's a monthly subscription. It's $30 a month and comes with three pieces of really simple and really beautiful jewelry. Generally, it's a set. So three pieces um, that could be worn together and would look really nice together. So it comes in this beautiful little envelope. I just love their envelopes. And then their packaging. It's always like spot on. So the three pieces of jewelry come in this little clutch sized kind of like a pleather bag with a very soft kind of velvet inside. I just think this is so pretty. I haven't decided yet <laughs> what I am gonna do with these. I'll probably put some cute Christmas gifts or something inside of these because they're just too nice to just throw away. So anyway, really cute. For $30 a month, like I said, you get the three pieces of jewelry. Generally, I get a necklace, a bracelet, and earrings, or um, a necklace, a bracelet, and ring, some combination of those three. I actually prefer when I get the necklace and the earrings and the ring. I don't wear too many bracelets, although I am wearing one today. I don't like bracelets that kind of hang off my wrist, so I don't wear a lot of them. So anyway, we'll see what's in today's bag. This is actually my April bag. They've been a little bit behind on their shipping, so I actually just got March's bag about a week ago, and then this one came yesterday. So they're catching up, <laughs> but I am at the end of their shipping schedule anyway. So I paid for this at the beginning of April and now it's the beginning of May. Normally I would have gotten it at the end of April. Each piece of jewelry comes in this little bag. Very cute. They all say Penny and Grace and it's just the perfect little package for a piece of jewelry. And the very first thing I am pulling out is this little ring. So cute. It's got a little, I don't know if you can see, it's got kind of like a bluish... I don't really know my jewels, so I have no idea what that's supposed to be. And it's, you know, not a real one, whatever it is. <laughs> but it's yellow gold, and I love yellow gold. I, I wear a combination of different types of jewelry. When you go in and set your preferences with Penny and Grace, you can tell them if you want yellow gold, white gold, or to surprise you. And so I said surprise me. So I've gotten a little of everything, which is awesome. I would say my subscription is a little more heavy probably on the not white gold, but more of like the silver tone. So anyway, there's the ring. You also can set your ring size preference and they're not for the most part adjustable. So I set mine to size six, which is a little bit big sometimes on my fingers. I have skinny like piano playing fingers. I don't play the piano, but anyway, <laughs> this size tends to work out pretty well for me. The next piece is, oops, that's a little tag. The next piece looks like a set of earrings and these earrings match the ring really perfectly so they're very simple I'm not wearing jewelry today so I may actually just throw these in my ears can you see those it's the same light 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 blue just super pretty color so I'm gonna pop those in my ears now so you can see they're very tiny but I really prefer a very simple jewelry I don't wear a lot of kind of over-the-top or blingy pieces I can very much appreciate when people do wear pieces like that and wish that I could, but they just kind of get in my way. And I don't know, I think I like to wear those colors in my clothes. And so it just ends up being too much when I wear it in jewelry. So there are the earrings a little bit closer up. Um, my hair is right in the way, but I just think they're really cute and simple and I love them. So generally, like I said, the three pieces all kind of match each other and make a set. That didn't happen in this Bag. At least I don't think so. So my third piece is this really pretty, really, really pretty necklace. But I wouldn't say that it matches anything in my bag, really. Maybe the blue in the ring and the earrings kind of give off like an ocean-y vibe. And that's why I have a sand dollar necklace here. But I don't know if you can see that super close up. But it's a little sand dollar. I will tell you, I grew up going to the beach. I still go to the beach as often as I can. I live about two hours from my favorite beach in Maine. And um, we go there 
as many times as we can manage during the summer. But I grew up going to the beach with my grandparents. They actually had a camper that they kept at a campground that was on the beach, and it was like a lovely childhood. I have so many happy memories. And so I actually have a tattoo of a sand dollar on my back with two seagulls, and that's for my grandparents because um, my grandmother loved the beach, loved seagulls, both my grandparents did. And so it's just a, a reminder of my grandparents who I loved so much. And so this necklace is actually really special and whether it was meant to be in this set or not, I don't know, but I'm really glad that that's what I ended up getting. So I'm gonna put that on and I'm gonna wear it today and definitely in remembrance of my grandparents because I think that's just such a perfect thing. There we go. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful necklace. Again, very simple as all the Penny and Grace jewelry is, but just, it's just, so pretty and I love sand dollars so I probably should have mentioned when we went to the beach we would always look for sand dollars and we would only take the ones that weren't alive because you can tell sand dollars if they're dark and have like tiny little spikes all over them they kind of look like fur they're alive still so you don't want to take those some people do some people do and dry them up but we don't do that we only take sand dollars that have already died and that's those are the white ones that have kind of been bleached by the sun that's it for my Penny and Grace subscription for this month. This is always a pretty quick video, but thank you guys so much for coming along with me today. I am really liking this set very much. Sometimes there's a piece or two in there that I think, eh, I probably won't wear that, but I can see myself wearing all of these items quite a bit. So thank you so much for watching this video, for coming along with me while I open my Penny and Grace subscription. I don't have a referral code for this one. I just happened to find it watching another YouTuber's videos and thought it was perfect for my aesthetic. So if you'd like to look into it, it's just pennyandgrace.com and it's $30 a month, $5 for shipping. So really $35 a month and you just get to keep everything. You don't have to send anything back. It's not a rental fee. It's just you pay the $35 a month with shipping and the jewelry is yours. So if you have any questions about Penny and Grace or any comments, please leave them below. I love to read your comments. I will see you for the next video. Bye-bye.